everybody, welcome back to Fawan Channel with Fawan and Micro. Hey everyone, it's great as, to be back. As we play some more Avery Attorney to crack the case. Pigeon lawyers on the case. Of the cat claws. The cat claws. I think... What do you think? I think that it's the lion. I think he you did think it. That's the li you think the lion did it? Yeah, because the name is Cat Claws, and I think uh, there's more likely a, a, a motive for him, maybe some sort of business situation with the frog, and he gutted the frog. You know what I noticed about the frog? Hmm. He wasn't wearing any clothing. When we first saw the frog, and he was gutted, no oh, clothing. Oh, he was nude. He was completely nude. He was nude. You're right. So huh. scandalous for Lady Cat Dame Catalan to find him. Yeah, but I don't Probably know. has nothing to do with I right still, now. There still needs to be a motive, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and investigate further. See what we can figure out. I think we're done here. Good call. But are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We'll still have time. <laughs> don't push your luck. So let's go to the lounge. Yes. That's where everyone was like hanging out, right? Hanging out in the lounge with that great... Oh, oh, this is a giraffe. giraffe. Okay. This is a lady giraffe. She has like a little monkey pin. Second floor, third door on the right. This must be the room where the photo for the photograph was taken. I always keep wanting to say photographer. Psst, hey, Val, can't you see that? See what? That housemaid just did something shifty. Shifty? I think she just pocketed something from that drawer. You should totally call her out on it. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Ah, I'll do it. He, yes? Are you, are you two policemen? No, no. We're private attorneys. My name is J.J. Falcon. And I'm Sparrowson. Oh, how rude of me. My name is Caroline Duhart. So, uh, what can I help you messieurs with today? We're investigating the murder that took place last week. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? That's, that's fine. Let me just grab a chair. That way she can <laughs> see in frame. She, no, she's an antelope or gazelle. She has a long neck. Huh. Yeah, gazelles. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. There are no spots on her for a draft. Yeah, that's true. That's better. What was it you wanted to ask? Is this where the photograph was taken? Is something? Is there something we should know? Yeah, that's... And that's all. You were a little nervous when we came in. You thought we were police officers? Is there something we ought to know? Anything you need to confess? <laughs> no. I suppose I'm just a little nervous after all the drama of last week. I don't know. You want to pressure her? Yeah, totally. Are you sure there isn't anything you're hiding? It's okay to tell us we're defense attorneys. That means we help people get away with criminal acts. Right, and... Wait, what? No! That's not an accurate job description, Sparrowson. It isn't? Oh, what do we do then? Mm, I'll tell you later. Honestly, messieurs, I have nothing to hide. Was there something else you wanted to ask? Is this where the photo tag? Photo tag. Photo tag. Photo See, tag you're doing taken. it too, right? It's the day, I swear. Yep. We're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know whether this is the room? Oh, yes, you're in the right place. I saw the photo photographer. Photography. Photography. <laughs> I saw the photo photography. I saw the photography <laughs> session <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Let's see. The cameraman was standing. Just, ab just above, just about. I cannot talk today either, apparently. Just about where you're standing, actually, Monsieur Falcon. And uh, where was the camera pointed? Right at the clock above the mantelpiece. The Baron insisted on using that very location. Ah, huh, that's interesting. Now that I'm looking at it, something isn't right about that clock. I know the painting on it totally clashes with the decor. I was thinking along more obvious lines. The clock has no hands. Oh, that clock has never had hands in all the years I've worked here. I think Baron O'Griel just keeps it around as a conversation piece. Well, we're conversing about it, so I guess it's working. It's a peculiar detail, though. I'll make a note of it. Missing clock hands, I bet now it's your evidence folder. That is interesting. I just totally reminds me of Ace Attorney. This kind of stuff pops up mm -hmm. all the time. Especially, like, the most mundane things. Like, there's something peculiar about it, you know? Is there something else you wanted to ask? That's all. That'll be it. No further questions. Thank you, mademoiselle. You've uh, had a, you've been, been a huge help. There's no problem, messieurs. Actually, Actually, there is something. 
I know you two saw me stealing as you came in. I appreciate that you just didn't give me the third degree about it. See, I'm trying to save up to follow my dreams and, well, never mind, I'm rambling. It's no problem, as well. To be honest, we have a much larger crime to worry about. Although, I should probably ask, I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else? Silverware, perhaps? Ah, uh, you know about that? That's why there's no coloring. That's why there's yeah, no coloring. Yeah, I suppose that was me. I started with a couple of teaspoons. I didn't think the bear would miss those. But, uh, well, yeah, I suppose the habit got a little away from me. You're a klepto. <laughs> She stole, she stole the murder weapon. That's what I'm or guessing. Or she stole the hands on the clock. Oh, that could be. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That could be. That's one mystery solved, at least. Missing silverware has been added to your evidence for it. I think one of them is the murder weapon. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't tell the Baron. He's been really kind, and I would hate to break his trust by stealing. Why has he not been doing that? does not notice he doesn't have any cutlerware? Yeah, right? Cutlery. I see. So where to next, Big Bird? Uh, God, the only other thing we got, yeah. right? Main hall. Did you, Mrs. have a good look around? I trust everything was in order. We had a good look, thank you, Baron, but we actually have some questions for you. Please, ask away, I have nothing to hide. About your housemate. What happened on the night of the murder? I think that's, that's the, the first uh, one we want that's, to leave that's the obvious one, right? Baron O'Gale, I would like to ask you about your activities on the night of the murder. Oh-ho! Am I in trouble? Not at all. Mm -hmm. No, no, nothing like that. We're just gathering the full picture. I see. Well, let me think. I The guests arrived at 5 o'clock, and we all sat down for dinner in this very hall at 6. That part was went magnificently. Uh, the photographer arrived at 7 o'clock, but it wasn't until 7.30 that we had our picture taken. How does he know that? He is... Very on time. He must have a pocket watch up in there <laughs> Well, his other, his other right? uh, clogged it wasn't working. Shoot. My housemaid discovered the crime scene. Oh, she did not mention that. No, she did not. She did not mention that. Oh. My housemaid discovered the crime scene soon after that. I see. Is there something else I can help you with, you Mrs. with? About your housemaid. Yeah, now we can ask about yes. that. We met your housemaid, uh, Caroline Duhant. She's a courteous young lady, isn't she? Yes, she was quite helpful. Yes, yeah, she was more than willing to help us with our investigation. I'm glad to hear it. Did you two want to ask something else? I will be leaving. I kind of wish we could go back there now. I think we'll be. I think that will be all, Baron. Thank you very much for your time. Can we go talk to her? I want to talk to her again. It was. It was a pleasure. Have a delightful day, Messieurs. I don't know if we can though. Yeah. Did you get all the information you needed, Falcon? No. No, I don't. I want to go talk to the maid again. Oh, if we went and talked to him first, first yep. it probably would have unlocked the option to then talk to her oh, about... I hate this right now. Oh, man, that sucks. We weren't strate How are we supposed to know? We're more strategic in this. Oh. oh, man, we fouled that up. And can I just tell you... You totally didn't catch that. Fouled that up. Like bird fouls. Bird fouls, yeah. Anyway, sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> the Baron looked like a circus like entertainer to me oh like, because of the big top hat and yes. stuff but that was like the style of the it time was right the style of the time. yeah all righty all right i hope so don't worry if everything goes wrong in the trial we can always just wing it Ugh. you're so horrible sprouson terrible just terrible let's head back to the office and get some rest took all day we're in paris uh, not taking it there and back i to go to the studio de robinho uh, what kind of animal do you think uh, Robert Dude is? Italian. That's not an animal. Oh. Italian is not an animal. <laughs> Sorry to any Italian viewers out there. No, I was just thinking, <laughs> is, Italy, is Italy known for a specific type of animal? And is this what this person's going to be? I'm not European, so if there is, I don't know what the common theme is for that. What so. is the country bird of Italy? Now we have state birds here in the U.S. Do they have a country bird? I don't know. I think there's just like a mascot. Like the America's mascot. mascot is like Bald the eagle. eagle, and the French one is a is a is a, a rooster. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, at least it always has. I don't know if it still is. I know it was back in an old timey time. Anyways, Alrighty. so this is the studio of the famous photographer. Shall we knock? No. Wait. There's a note under the door. <clears throat> 
The magnificent marvelous artist, Monsieur Robizio de Robinio, is currently out on an artistic expedition. He flew the coop! He shall return bum, bum, bum. when his sees fit. He totally flew... flew oh, gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> you and your puns. Uh, Maybe I should be sparrows. <laughs> Yeah, and I can see, like, the exclamation points, like, pointing out of you right now. When his muse sees fit, That's what does that even mean? Oh, sorry. When his muse sees fit, what does that even mean? I think it means he's a pretentious bird brain. But in any case, the artist seems to be out. What shall we do now? Hmm. Big. Oh, this door seems a bit loose. Yank. Let's <laughs> we'll see what happens. We should knock anyway. We totally. Knock. We should knock anyways. All right. I don't see the harm. Boop, boop. Nope, it doesn't seem like he's in, Falcon. We should break in. <laughs> Let's do it. A ton. We should... We should break in. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Maybe. M Monsieur J.J. Falcon, who would have thought that a man of justice like yourself would be against such reckless displays of unlawful barbarism. You're right, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's a brilliant suggestion. <laughs> Stand back, I'm barging the door down. I love it. Wait, just like that, shouldn't we discuss this first? <laughs> <laughs> what in Bird Jesus' name? Is that? Bird Jesus. There's Bird Jesus, I baby. Love this so this um, game is a lot of fun. You said you wanted to break in. I thought we could find an open window. I didn't think you would turn into a bird-sized cannonball. Well, now we're here. Well, now we are here. We ought to make the most of it. This place is quite something. It's very hmm. Swanky. I was gonna say ostentatious. That's just swanky talk for swanky. <laughs> quite. <laughs> we, don't we don't have time for this. The sound of the door being smashed. It could be drawing unwanted attention. We should find anything that may help our case and get out. Alrighty. Let's do this. The music sounds a lot like, uh... Who was that horror film director guy from, like, the 40s who did Psycho? I don't know. Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, it sounded like the Alfred Hitchcock well, music for a second. Well, this is Camille saint Saint. So... Oh. He does, like, Dance Macabre and everything. Amazing composer. Okay, we should look at this stuff, right? All of it. Let's look here. Okay. Might have chemicals. I see paints, inks, and dyes. I'm not quite sure what the clear liquid in this bottle is. I could taste test it. You could, but we don't have time for a hospital visit right now, so let's not. Okay. Uh, what's this? Okay, do it. Hey, Falcon, look. What? It's just an easel. No, no, no. Look what's on the easel. <gasps> Ooh. Who's missing? Ooh. Missing. There's still no, there's still no hands in the box. Baron Mowgli's not there neither. Is Grand Oh, Grand this, this is, a, this is a painting. It's an easel, right? It's not a, it's not a photograph. They had a oh. photograph together. Okay. So this is probably from another date. Okay. No, oh. this must be a. Okay, sorry. Oh wow, this must be a copy of the photograph from the evening of the murder. See? There's no question about it. I see a housemaid, Dame Catalyne. I think that's Senor Puritur, Catalyne's father. So what shall we do? Do we just uh, take this? I take it. <sighs> we should probably leave it. I don't know how old timey time French law, law works because in America with modern times, this would not be admissible evidence. That's true. It would not be admissible. Well, because when we broke in, <laughs> it just started stealing shit. No, I think you should. We should leave it then, and then we can ask uh, Miss Baron Rob Ra Ra about it later. Roar but we have no proof to show to the, to the courtroom that they weren't there. No, but they can. We can ask them. If so we we we've not been to court yet in this game, so we don't really know how that works, right? I don't think we should take it. We should leave it. You think we should leave it? I think. What do you think? Oops! Owen? Oops! What did you do? Oops! Are you serious? <laughs> did you just take? Did you just steal? <laughs> 
We've come this far, we might as well borrow it. We're not stealing, we're gonna give it back when the trial's when over. When the trial's over. We found it in the trash. Probably from Outside when those- Outside the house. Probably from when those burglars broke in and they just didn't want it and threw it in the trash. We Outside just so happen to be- Outside the house. Just so happen to be walking by. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Is there anything else we need to do here? Okay. That one. There's like a ton of little ones. I just want to see if there's any that isn't like a little painting that might uh, stick us. out. Yeah. Oh, chandelier. chandelier. A chandelier? You should get one of those for the office. I don't have the money for that sort of luxury. Painting my painting. This is a tiny photograph of what appears to be a jail cell. That reminds me. How illegal is this? You know, breaking and entering, rifling through a person's belongings. Uh, it's cool. We're, We're lawyers. lawyers. I love that answer. It's pretty illegal. I'm not going to lie to you, Sparrows. And if we're caught, we'll be spending the next 20 years with a number of instead of a name. I call 24601. Is that like a reference to something? I have no idea. Don't be daft, Sparrows. You can't call prison numbers. Damn, I wanted that one. <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Is it a, I don't know. I don't know what this... Um, viewers, if you know what 24601 re reference is, please let yeah, us know. I, I know history, but not that well. A lighthouse? No, wait. It's a man in a top hat. Actually, if I squint and turn my head sideways... It's a black smudge, Falcon. Oh, it's one of those... Uh, Rorschach tests? Yeah. A picture of a sailing ship on a windy day. See a finely dressed dandy fellow upon a horse. I don't think we're gonna really find anything. So we should examine everything. I see a bourgeois tiger in tigress, profile. A tigress. 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 This appears to be a photograph of a ladder, symbolic of climbing towards success, perhaps. Looks more like a step ladder to me. Oh no, we're not getting into that old argument. This is a photograph of a castle somewhere in the countryside. You know. I once had an uncle who fell off a castle ramparts while on guard duty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did he die? No, he got demoted. Ugh! Ba -da -bum. Oh, me and Falcon are just on it. Like, ugh, terrible. <laughs> I think we saw most things. No, we didn't. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure okay. there isn't, like, okay. anything out of the obvious, you know? Don't miss anything! Okay, what's this one? This is a picture of a fence. It's a fancy photograph. It leaves the viewer defenseless. Out of all the pictures here, I would pick it as my favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm done. done. No more fence puns. Ever. <laughs> a butterfly, or maybe a moth. It's cool to tell in black and white. Beautiful picture of Paris skyline. Given the angle, this must have taken, been taken from Notre Dame Cathedral itself. I think that's everything. So too. I think we got everything. I'm just gonna do this little Spur number. around? Yeah. No, I think that's everything. Let's Excellent. get out of here before we get caught by the cops. I think we're done, stupid. Let's get out of here before we draw further attention to ourselves. Sounds good to me. Uh-oh. Oh, man! We got caught. Yep. Oh, mon dieu! What happened to my door? Is he a penguin? What is he? No, it's a bird. He has a bird. I'm not sure a, a penguin playing. is a bird. He's a finch. He's, is he one of uh, Darwin's Galapagos finches? I think he's a penguin. We'll see if he's black and white. Okay, you want to be a Rubino? Oh, mon dieu, what happened to my door? Uh. Um, what do you want to do here, Fallon? Thing is, though, I'm not sure if he's going to tell a good lie. Yeah, because we don't know Falcon very well. Telling I'll the truth. Tell the truth. Uh. Well, Mr. Rubino, it's like this, you see. We are attorneys who have been hired for the purpose of... Raven! A raven did it! We saw the whole thing! That's racist. <laughs> Quark did it, let me tell you. <laughs> the blackbird did it, and that's that's racist. What are you doing, Sparrowson? I've got this. I'll go to jail because your conscience is acting up. Nobody's going to jail, just uh, take it easy. Oh, damn ravens! They're always after shiny objects, am I right? Y yeah, that's right. 
Let's make a move. Trial day is approaching fast. Right, let's go. Oh, wow. He actually fell for that. First try. Palais de justice. The justice. The juiciest justice. Justice. Falcon and Sparrow can stand inside the marble of a portico of the Palace de Jusius. Palais. 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 I'm sorry. Palais I was. I wanted to get the, the, to the juice. We're gonna get some juice right now. Justice. Right Awaiting the opening of the Tribunal de Grande Instance. Instance. The grand jury. I'm guessing. Are you nervous, Falcon? Nope. I live <laughs> dot dot dot. You gotta be that uh that the haughty type, right? That bad, huh? We literally have nothing. We literally have nothing. It's the cat and uh, the, the bailiff. Monsieur Falcon, petit sparrowson. Is there anything you need me to do? No, no, we've got a handle on things. No, we don't. Falcon was just telling me how confident he was feeling about the case. That's wonderful. I just know you two will pull through. Let's move it along, fellas. I'll be watching from inside. Do your best for me, Monsieur Falcon. We will. Hmm. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Crap. I think we're gonna screw this up. Oh, it's a like an ibis or something. It's an ibis. Or a crane or something. Judge Maxime. Can I be him? Yes, go ahead. Hmm, what should we do? All right, settle down, everyone. Settle down. Is everyone here? Is everybody here? JJ Falcon present. The defense is ready, Anna. Um, you can be Rabbington. Rupert Rabbington present. The press. The ready is prosecution, Your Honor. Oh my! This is the guy. This was the hut. Yeah. Yep, the hutch guy. Uh, darn! That's not it. Oh gosh, where are my notes? I knew it. Knew what? Rupert and I went to Paris Law School together. He was in all of my classes. Oh? Was he smart? No. He always scored the second worst marks in the class. I can only assume that he bumbled through final exams on the luck of his two rabbit's feet. Well, we technically have four. Whatever. Unless he's improvised, improves considerably. We might already have this trial in the bag. That's good to know. But say, Sparrowson, if Rupert scored the second lowest marks in the class, who was the lowest? Dun, dun, dun. I choose to exercise my brain not to self <laughs> Plead the fifth! Uh, here it is. <clears throat> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. All the jury all present! What we got here? We got it's bird, a... ram, hippo. I guess not the dog. It's a dog. Um, bird. Bird. Seal. Oh, is this a dodo? Looks like a dodo. I think it's a dodo. The seal is quite dapper looking. And we got a, a vulture. vulture. Oh, that's a big, bad one. I'll press the count for you, Anna. Hey, Falcon, I thought we were only six members of the jury for a case like this. Why do I count eight? Oh, those two birds with the funny hats are... Assessors? The associate judges. Everything seems to be in order, so let us begin. The court is now in session for the trial of Dame Catalan de Mal. Prosecution, please call your first witness to the stand. Oh gosh, are we there already? Okay, uh, I choose to call the officer in charge of the murder investigation, Inspector Volteri, to the witness stand. Inspector Volteri, please approach the stand and recite the oath. What is? He's a he's a he's a um. I don't know what he is. He's, he's a, a he has a he's a chicken. He's a rooster. He's a rooster, I think. And he has a blind a patch on one eye. Yeah, you can be Volteri. Well, oh, well, we, I, we mispronounced Volerti. Volerti. As you will, Your Honor. I swear to speak without hatred and without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I'm gonna call him Javert. Moving forward. Javert? He's Javert. I am Javert! Anyways. Monsieur Norm, Inspector, please say your name and occupation for the record. My name is Inspector Just Volerti. I'm a servant to the law, a scourge of the gutter, rest the plague, the city. He is. <laughs> yeah, he's Javert. I don't care what anyone calls him. I'm gonna call him Javert going forward. I've enforced the law for over 20 years, and I shall continue until I bring the infamous Viridian Killer to justice. Oh, I thought you were on, uh, the... Viridian Killer. I thought you were on the Special Victims Unit for the Bread Division. Hmm. The people who steal bread. bread. <laughs> <laughs> My path begins 18 years ago. Let's stick to the questions, Inspector. Of course, Your Honor. Oh, great. I was hoping you'd have one of those bumbling, cuddly officers, but instead we're stuck with the lawful goody-two-shoes. 
but this guy would turn over his own mother if he saw her littering. So, uh, Inspector, is it true that you're the lead investigator on this case? That is correct. I was also among the first to arrive at the scene of the crime. Then perhaps you can walk us through what you witnessed upon your arrival. Absolutely. Just after 7.30, we were alerted and brought to the scene by the housemaid of Baron Roar Wheel. And at the scene of the crime, we found Dame Catherine de Miao. She was standing over the corpse of Monsieur Grand Wee with his blood on her paws. Well, that sounds like an open and shut case, in my humble opinion. Uh, no, no more questions, Your Honor. But bloody paws, nobody told me that detail. Keep it together, Falcon. You're about to be given the opportunity to cross-examine the witness. This is your opportunity to find flaws in the inspector's testimony. This is totally ace attorney, and I love it. Of course, I know this. You may begin your cross-examination, Monsieur Falcon. Cross-examination. Cross-examine the witness to find flaws in his testimony. The bloody paws. Select a key phrase that you find suspicious, and Falcon will press the witness for information. Ask the right questions to bring the truth to light. Avoid pressing for pointless details. The judge and jury don't like having their times wasted. Yeah, they get mad, yeah. and then you can like lose your ability. They'll dismiss you, basically. Yeah, okay. Hold you in contempt, whatever, and say you can't ask any more questions, which so will screw yourself. So it sounds like we need to follow the bloody paws. Mm-hmm. Seen the crime. Sliced open corpse. Blood on her paws. I think all three of them, but the blood on her paws sounded most interesting. Yeah, let's go there first. Inspector, you say Dame Cataline had blood on her paws? Correct. Blood clung to her fur like guilt to a convict. Whose blood was it? Remember, she ate the, the um, steak. The steak. Yep. Can I? Can I open this? Yep. 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 Okay, I, I can later. Who's Whose blood was that's it? That's true, I didn't think about the steak. I, could they match blood back then? No, they can't, but they... Maybe, maybe, could they do blood typing? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. You're the scientist. <laughs> Whatever. I do not know about science and the... Whose blood France. was it? Ha, huh, what a question. It was Mr. Grandwee's, of course. How can you be so sure? Uh, I object. This line of questioning is absurd. There's only one murder victim that night, Falcon. The blood on Dame Cataline's paws could only belong to one person, Mr. Grandwee. Judge, Judge Falcon tried to delay the trial by asking pointless questions. I'm afraid the prosecution may have a point, Monsieur Falcon. Do you have any reason to suspect the blood belonged to someone other than Monsieur Gunway? I do. I do. I do, Yana. Actually, I have more than suspicion. I have evidence that the blood on Dame Kathleen's paws had nothing to do with the murder. This is foolish time wasting, uh, Falcon. If the blood on Dame Cataline's paws didn't come from the victim, then where did the blood come from? Yep. Yep. Do it. On the evening of the murder, Dame Cataline <laughs> ate a bloody rare steak. Is this true, Monsieur Rabiton? Well, um, in a matter of speaking, I suppose steak may have been on the uh, menu. Then, Inspector, would you acknowledge the possibility that the blood on the latest paws did not belong to the victim, but to the stick? Well... Would you stake your life on it? <laughs> but I'm bum. <laughs> you should have been Sparrow in here. Right? Wait, wait, we don't ans Don't answer that, Inspector. <laughs> it is a possibility. <laughs> no! Intriguing. Pretty convincing. We gain favor with the jury. So, Inspector Volt Vol Valerti. Is it po Javert. So, Inspector Javert. Javert, is it possible that you arrested an innocent bystander simply for being a messy eater? Now, hold on just one minute, Falcon. You're overlooking something quite crucial. Dame Catuline is an elegant bourgeoise kitten. She was no doubt brought with a flawless etiquette and a perfect table manners. At the banquet, she would have eaten steak with a fork in her left hand, a knife in her right, like any proper civilized animal. How could she have possibly gotten blood on her paws with such good manners? Uh, because um, no somebody had been stealing the cutlery. Oh, that is a good question, or at least it would be at any ordinary dinner banquet. But as it happened, something was missing from that particular banquet. Something that forced a damn Cataline to eat with her paws. The cutlery. Damn Cataline was forced to eat steak with her paws because... Da -da -da, the silverware of the household had been previously stolen! Stolen? I don't recall any mention of that in the police report. We weren't aware of anything missing from the Rogui residence. We performed the initial investigation. But as it happened, Baron Rogui approached us with this very subject last night. 
Ah! Uh, Innocent, perhaps. What a twist. Little favor with the jury. Little. What is the meaning of all this? Bloody stake, misplaced silverware. Inspector, was your investigation so lax that you overlooked these basic facts in your initial report? Lax, my investigation, Judge, I assure you, I am the most thorough investigative officer on the force. Then it is amazing that the Parisian police managed to solve any crimes at all. I love how the judge is like... He's just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Be on your way, Inspector. Perhaps do a little inspecting for your next case. We've just made an enemy of him for our next mm -hmm. case, I swear. Fine, so be it. Miss you until next time. Prosecutor, I trust your next witness is ready. Yes, yes, of course, Your Honor. And we will find out who this next person is, this next witness is, next time on oh. Farwin Channel with more Avery Attorney. And hopefully... We'll be able to solve the case next time. If not, we'll get more interesting clues. Yeah, because right now we don't really have a clear person to point it at. But our job as the defense attorney is to just prove our... Client is innocent. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For more content. And don't forget to share with the internet. Spread the channel around. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more following channel. See you soon, everybody. Take care, guys.